Diesel engines are a great technology. They create a lot of power, they're reliable, they're robust, they're extremely common for all of these reasons. But the main problem with them is the emissions they create. A diesel engine produces two main problematic emissions, soot and nitrogen oxides, or NOx. And typically, the problem has been that when you do something to lower one of those emissions, the other one goes up. This has been called the soot NOx trade-off. Soot is an important climate forcing species. It's actually the second most important behind CO2 itself. DFI stands for ducted fuel injection. Its whole objective is to prevent the formation of soot in the first place. And now with soot out of the way, you can do things to control NOx emissions that are very cost-effective and, and much simpler than the current approaches. One of the other advantages of DFI is it can allow engine manufacturers to use less after-treatment systems. These after-treatment systems have issues with being large, heavy, expensive, requiring frequent maintenance, and DFI could potentially reduce or even maybe eliminate the need for these by cleaning up the emissions before they're generated. A diesel engine has a spray flame that, that just injects into the combustion chamber, and that spray flame produces rich mixtures that tend to produce a lot of soot. And what ducted fuel injection does is it puts a little tube around each one of those spray flames and it basically turns each spray flame into something more like a Bunsen burner, which doesn't produce any soot. The presence of the duct enhances the extent of mixing before ignition occurs. And by creating a mixture that's more fuel lean where ignition occurs, that prevents soot formation. And that's how DFI works. The animation is the duct inside the engine and we're rotating around the injector tip inside the engine, ending up with the duct on the right side representing DFI, and on the left side there's nothing, which is where the conventional diesel combustion will occur with just a regular free spray. And here's a movie showing the benefits. On the right side there is very little to no soot being seen, while on the left side we see the very sooty flame of conventional diesel combustion. Our measurements have seen the soot is reduced by about 95%. DFI could be used in everything from a car to a ship, trains, anything that uses a, a diesel engine, generators. DFI could also be retrofitted into existing engines. This could be particularly useful on uh, bigger engines that are uh, harder to replace, engines in uh, big trucks, engines in trains, engines in, uh, in ships, things like that. For really large bore and expensive diesel engines like you might find in a locomotive or a ship, they're not going to be able to just change out that engine to meet stricter emissions regulations. And so one way to make those engines cleaner would be to do a retrofit, and that could be a very cost-effective approach for those markets. Ducted fuel injection works really well with conventional diesel fuel, but we've recently done some experiments where we tested it with a bio-derived oxygenated fuel, so renewable fuel, and it works even better with that. So I think it'll provide a good motivation for the introduction of some of these renewable fuels as well. DFI preserves the good attributes of diesel engines. It makes the engines more cost effective and better performance in terms of emissions and potentially dramatically improves the environment by facilitating the introduction of sustainable fuels. The coolest part of it to me is that it's a very simple mechanical solution. So it's a small design tweak that can produce orders of magnitude improvement in emissions. And so it should be durable, it should be robust, easy to implement. Well, I'm excited to see this technology come from the fundamental research we're doing here in our lab to being applied to vehicles in the real world. If Ducted fuel injection could improve even just a fraction of the over one billion engines on Earth. The whole world would benefit.